are, I, I mentioned earlier, we are not our mind and body. We are a living being. We really are a living being in, inside of this body. And if we can, you can find that. When you can learn to be still, be honest, so you can see you're going to enter into that kingdom and you're going to become aware of, again of who you really are, a living being. You're not the stresses around you. You're not the illusion of your imagination. You're not your job. You're not your friends. You're not your pastor. You're not, you're not these things. You're not people, places, and things. But the problem is, in society today, is that so many people are identified with something else. Something else. Their jobs, their friends, you know, this competition is so great now for the young folks. Everybody got to get an A so they can get the best job. They can be first in line. You got to go to school from the time you pop out of your mama's womb until you're 90. You know, and people are identifying with something else other than the living being that they are. And so when stress comes, they identify with it and it freaks them out because they're afraid of losing their identity. They're afraid of not being the best, or they're afraid of not getting chosen, or having the right kind of friends, or having all the money, or losing family members, or someone liking you or not liking you. You got those things, you shouldn't be identifying with those things. You should see that you are a living being and start living your life. Just living your life, it'll unfold by itself. It creates a perfect personality. You know, you're able to just live. You're able to see. You're able to live. And the good thing about it is that God is adding on to you. You would never go without. Don't worry about what you're going to eat, where, you, what you're gonna, where you're going to sleep, what you're going to wear. You will start just living your life, but you got to disassociate with this illusion in your imagination which comes from the ego based on angry, anger. And most people are angry, right? And so they, they're attached to the world instead of just being a living being and allow life to unfold for you. Whatever is so important to you that it controls you, you need to let it go. You really need to let it go. What's so interesting about it, this is what I really like about God. I, I love a lot of things about him. He's always giving us situations in life to wake us up to that. He's saying, look, this means too much to you. You know, this is why you're tripping. Let it go. But what do most people do? They try to figure out how to hold on to it even more so. They don't pull away to learn, well, what is my relationship with this person plays a thing that I'm having so much hardship with it? He's trying to get to us because he loves us and he's always looking out for us. But because we've been so brainwashed about him, we have the wrong concept of God and of Christ that we try to get there with what we have learned. And that's not going to work. It's really not going to work. And I'm sorry that that has happened to us, but it is what it is. But thank God for Jesus, we can overcome that. But it's going to take you looking at yourself and don't, hold, don't put anyone as an idol in your life. Don't, have, don't worship the preacher. Don't worship your daddy, your mama, your friends, your automobile, your drug. Don't worship because that takes the place of God. Don't worship your weakness. And don't even worship your strength. It is what it is. And God can come in and change our lives. He did not send Christ for the world to be fallen apart in the manner that it is. He's with us. We are a living being. Wake up and live that way. You're not, stop identifying with things. This stuff is here today and gone tomorrow. Friends are here today and gone tomorrow. Stop weighing yourself down trying to hang out with them and be with them and be all that to them and put on this phony attitude about yourself. It's a waste of life. Relax and enjoy life. Unfold.
That makes sense? Yes. You're not going to be able to do it, though, until you can admit that you are a sinner that needs to be saved. And sinning meaning you have resentment of yourself and others. You're constantly judging yourself and others. You're playing God. And that is the nature of the devil. And you cannot serve to God. Admit that you've learned the scriptures and all you do is quote them back. And life is not changing. You know, stop pretending like life is changing because you know the scriptures. You got to say, well, you know what? If I know the scriptures, I can quote John and Paul and James and James Mama, but nothing is changing. <laughs> and people are in denial about that because their mind would tell them, well, the change will come later. You know the word. Put the word in your heart. The change will come later. Satan is always telling them something to prevent all of us from getting to that place we want. Stop listening to the lie. If you can doubt your imagination, you can believe in God. You can believe the truth. That makes sense? So look at yourself this week and recognize how you are. And don't let Satan tell you that that's not how you are. You are that way. All right? And just let it, start letting it go. Stop deceiving yourself. Stop pretending. For more information or to purchase a copy of this show, visit us on the web at www.bondinfo.org or call 1-800-411-BOND.